Hey, what's going on, guys? Archer Mark here. Hope all is well. And I just have a small little haul video for you here. Uh, judging by the bag, you could probably figure out where it came from. Uh, was able to go to Target today and actually managed to find a couple of somewhat new pieces. So first, first is uh, these. New uh, action figure set. So these have been out for a little while, a few weeks at least. And this is the special, again, kind of using going back to the sort of retro packages when they used to do these like uh, triple figure packs. And this is the the villain set. Okay, with uh, you got the Sand People and Boba Fett. And the Snaggletooth. Uh, now, the Boba Fett. Now, this is a reissue, I believe. And the Sand People, I'm assuming this is uh, the same per figure that was released back in the... What was it? Discover the Force line. A while, a little while back. That was, I think, Walmart exclusive. And it's a really good... And That was a reissue anyway, but still. Now, this is a really good Sand People figure. I have one of these I got in a trade a while back, I, so I been wa I wanted to get another one. Uh, don't really need another Boba Fett, but it's Boba Fett, so hey, that's cool. And then this Snaggletooth is a whole new figure, as far as I know. Uh, I seen a review on this this figure itself. Uh, I believe FlyGuy.net did a review on this. this is this is basically a vintage collection version of the, the Snaggletooth, you know. Uh, if I remember correctly from the review, it's got all your finished collection articulation. Now, there'll be a proper review on, on this set uh, later on, you know, in, in time. Not sure when I'll get to doing this, but I'll just turn it around. And, you know, so there's that one, the villain set, and the droid set. The droid set, I'd like to get that one as well. Uh, but I just didn't have enough money. I had this and the second item... I figure it was more important. But I like this. The R5-D4 and the Death Star droid and the Power droid. And then you have this Android set, which uh, they didn't have, but doesn't interest me too much. I have enough 3PO's and R2's and Chewies. So hopefully next time there was an, there were three of these packs left and only two of these. So I picked up this one. This was the one I was more interested in. So hopefully next time I get to Target, I can pick this up. So there you go, pretty, so pretty cool set. As you see, Kenner logo. See only a Target. So that's a good set. And then the second set is this. I think this has been very highly anticipated. I managed to pick up the Darth Maul Returns, and they had like three or four of these there, uh, besides a couple other recent battle packs. Um. They had the one pack with like Obi-Wan and Django and another figure, I forget what the third figures, and then they had that Bespin set with the Luke and the Vader and uh, I think Boba Fett is in that one as well. But this, and again, I'll, there'll be a proper review on this, but I've seen one review on this already and this is without a doubt probably the best battle pack to come along in a long time you have um the of course the Darth Maul with the cyborg uh legs and you have the night sister again based on mother Talzin but um uh you know they just decided to call her night sister but this is a really cool looking figure. The Darth Maul is good. And then you have a, a reissue of the armored Savage Press figure, which, that alone, now this set, this is uh, $19.99 at Target. Uh, the, the other set uh, was $24.99. This Savage Press alone, I think, makes makes this set worth it. The Darth Maul figure is, is pretty good. I believe the, art, the articulation isn't bad. It's not as bad as I think some of us hoped or some of us thought it might be. Uh, it's not great. 
again, when I do the reveal, we'll, we'll get more in depth. Uh, the Night Sister figure is really good. Looks well. Looks like the paint apps are good. I think the articulation is pretty good. Again, I'll I'll see for sure when I open it up and do the review eventually. The you know the Savage Press. You know, if you're gonna reissue a figure, this is an awesome figure to to reissue. Uh, it's certainly a great figure. I got this when it first came out. Uh, I'll show you the back. See, we got a little kind of got there's the figures and they're sort of like action poses. See Darth Maul returns. Little script there. Uh, some other figures that you can get. So that's so that's pretty cool. So yeah, like I said, I wish I had a little bit more money because then I would have gotten. Uh, the other set as well, the the uh, the droid set. So, uh, so yeah, those are the two items I managed to pick up. I'm glad I was able to finally find some new stuff. I've been going to this Target for months without anything new. Um, no new vintage collection. They still had uh, some Phantom, Phantom Menace stuff warming the pegs. Um, they had two battle droids, a Qui-Gon, and one of the, uh, Nabu, Nabu guards, so. Um, one other thing, I noticed there was a, if you if anyone's interested, I noticed they had signs marked for the movie heroes and the Clone Wars figures were on sale. It said, it said a temporary sale or something like that, I forget exactly what the sign said, but they were on sale for $7.99. As opposed to the regular price of nine ninety nine, so if you're so you might want to check out your targets for that. Uh, the vintage collection figures are still nine ninety nine. Why they wouldn't mark those down too? Because they're still sitting there, freaking Phantom Menace stuff left over from February. But anyway, so maybe you guys can take advantage of the movie heroes and Clone Wars figures if if there's anything uh, you're looking for in your targets. Of course, it's going to vary by. Area and store and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, but these are there. So I mean, I'm sure this is going to be a hot item. But again, they they seem to have, like I said, there were three or four there, including this one. Um, so they're in stock. They're not. Sh doesn't look like they're short packed. At least that you know they didn't have just one. And you know there were. Two or three of e each of these, like you know, just two of these. There was three of the other set. Uh, you know, there it was probably three of this set as well, but one had sold, I guess. And you know, I'm not sure. I'm assuming that that is the case. Um, but yeah, that's my little mini Target haul. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. The again, like I said, reviews will be coming uh, at some point on these these items when I get a chance. I have a couple other videos that. Uh, that I've shot and that will go up before that. Um, but I'll, I'll get to these. They're they're definitely cool items. I don't want to. They'll definitely get reviews. So uh, keep uh, keep on the lookout for that. So yeah. So until my I will let you guys go into my next video to whether it's a haul or a figure review. I also have uh, some trades that I managed to do based off my trade video. So I'll have some uh, unboxing videos coming uh, with that stuff. So I got so I got some so I got some stuff coming on the horizon now. So uh, yeah, that's about it. So again, to my next video, whatever it may be. Uh, take care and may the force be with you.